Okay, so let's begin with the first edit. In the first part of the course, we will be working with this portrait of Olga. That's our starting point. So this stiff I have exported from the Adobe Camera Raw and I went for neutral white balance. I had already in my mind some idea for color for the final effect I wanted to achieve. However, I wanted to be on a safe side and I haven't applied any significant changes to the photo temperature. So I went for the neutral white balance and that way I have really huge flexibility. So we will begin with this image. This is our starting point and let me show you the final result. We will be aiming towards this color grade. So let me show you all the steps that we'll be performing during this edit. First, as usual, we will start with very quick cleanup in case of this model. She's very beautiful. She has very pretty skin, so there is no need to work on a cleanup. Next, we will focus on dodge and burn to smoothen up the skin to make this image more harmonious. Next, we will perform basic luminosity adjustments. We will sharpen the image. And in the last stage of this edit, we will work on color. So let me just select all these layers and let me delete them and we will start at the same point. So let's begin with the first edit. So as I've already mentioned, in case of this image, we won't have much work when working on a cleanup. Let's just zoom in. I have hit Alt Command 0 to have this image at 100% magnification. And I can just check what is the condition here. The upper part of the body of the model was out of focus, so I don't have to work on this part at all. I'm just going to quickly fix some of these blemishes on the skin. To do this, I will be working with the spot healing brush tool. You can either hit J on your keyboard or select the tool from the toolbar. Having the tool selected is important to set the hardness of your brush to 100%. So let's just quickly right click on the image and now in hardness set 100%. The size of the brush we can either set here or we can do this dynamically by hitting left or right square bracket. When I'm hitting left square bracket, I'm decreasing size of the brush. When I'm hitting right square bracket, I'm increasing size of the brush. That's the fastest, the most effective way of working with the brush size. And it works with any other tool in Photoshop that uses kind of brush. So either if it's brush, if it's stamp, spot healing brush tool, you can always use this keyboard shortcut. Left square bracket decreasing and right square bracket increasing size of the brush. So let's keep it around this size. So the brush will be around the size of the blemishes that I want to remove from the image. So first of all, let's duplicate the layer. We are working with the original image, so we have only one layer. Let's select the layer and let's just hit on the keyboard Command J. That way I have duplicated the layer and I'm going to rename it. So I'm going to call it Cleanup. So that way we will keep things tidy. Having the cleanup layer selected, select the spot healing brush tool, hit J on your keyboard and let's just perform the very quick cleanup. So let's increase size of the brush a little bit, hardness set at 100% and let's just paint over this little spots on the face that we want to remove. That way we can either remove small blemishes from the model skin, we can as well remove some dead pixels. So this is going to be really fast. As I've mentioned before, her skin is very pretty. There is no need to spend a lot of time on it. And remember, this is not a beauty retouch. So we want to keep this image natural. In the end, I want to just focus on color, but having a really good base image is important. However, I don't want to make her look artificial. I want to make her look at, at her best day, but natural and 
maintain the fresh and vibrant look. So basically in case of this image, this will be it. I don't want to remove any other elements in this image. Maybe let's have a look a little bit here. We could work on the hair. We could remove the stray hair with the stamp tool. In order to do this, let's hit S on the keyboard. So that way I have stamp selected. Let's increase size of the brush by hitting right square bracket. Now I'm going to be sampling from the area beside the hair and I'm going to be covering the hair, this element that I want to get rid of with pixels sampled. So let's just decrease a bit size of the brush. You need to be precise when you are working on the cleanup. The smaller the size of your brush, the better. The more precise you are, the better. The more seamless will be the final result. So to sample pixels, let's press and hold Alt key and click in the area that we want to sample pixels from. So I have the Alt key press and I'm holding it. I'm clicking here to sample pixels and now I have released Alt key and I'm just going to cover the stray hair, the element that I want to get rid of. We can repeat the operation of sampling and that way we can work on retouching, on removing bigger elements. Let's just step back. So I hit Command Z and let's just maybe get rid of this part. It's important to be really precise and work in a way that won't be recognizable in the end. We don't want people to see that the image was photoshopped. So when it comes to cleanup, that's it. I'm not going to be working on this stray hair. The image is strong. It was really well lit. So the viewer's attention immediately goes to the model's face, to her very intense gaze. And I don't need to worry about other elements. The hair is a bit out of focus, so it's not worrying me at all. So that way we have performed a very quick cleanup. This is what we have achieved in this clip. That's the stage after performing the quick cleanup and let's switch off this layer and this is the initial point. So we are ready to jump to the next video and start working on dodge and burn. See you in the next clip.